developers and welcome to this quick Q&A uh, video. In this video I'm going to try to answer the following question. Um, the question is how to publish uh, left and right images with my stereo camera over Roth. And this user uh, basically asked this question how can I know that I'm publishing and basically it's a very generic question and therefore there are comments asking a bit the specifications of this um what oh, is this question this camera stereo camera so what i'm going to try to do is to make an example of how we can do this and yeah and that's it basically and see how it works so before anything else, remember that uh, the Construct YouTube, YouTube channel is your channel for uh, learning about ROS, uh, ROS navigation, ROS with drones, ROS with autonomous cars, AI, anything related to ROS you can find it here. And if you have any doubts on, what, on topics that I, I talk about, uh, please check out the Robot Ignite Academy where there are um, uh, courses on various topics of ROS and no installation required so please check it out and without further ado let's get started so the first thing the first thing is I'm going to use ROS development studio to launch this simulation I've created a project which I've left in the um, uh, description down below a link to the ROS deck so we're going to launch it and we're going to talk about a bit how it works and everything we go so while it's loading the simulation I created this a package which I've left also the link to the git in the description down below and you can find that basically what I've done is I'm spawning a world and inside it I'm uh, I'm starting a world in gazebo and I'm spawning um, uh, an asset that I had there it's basically a cube uh, and then the the stereo robot yeah and the stereo robot we're going to see what it's exactly so it's just um, just a, um, a cube uh, a three cubes deformed and that basically are these two green things are the cameras and this would represent the, the distance, the popularity distance. I've got, I've stated this distance, but you can change it in the, in the simulation. If you go here and you go to robot um, properties, and basically here, this is the distance between the cameras. So you can change that whatever you want and any of the other parameters like make the, the cameras bigger and so on yeah basically it's that and then we are publishing if we go to the eyes we are publishing an RGB camera with the with this definition so 400 by 400 and and some angle the phobe, so on. You can change this to adapt it to your cameras, and basically it's one for each eye, and we have it here. So, answering the question, how do we know that it's publishing? This and this, it's applicable to simulations and, of course, to real robots. So the first thing is you have to open a terminal or a web shell, whatever you're using locally or in ROS development studio it's the same thing 
So the first thing is okay. I'm going to see what we have here. Cross.it list. And you can see that uh, we have stereo uh, for the left and for the right. It's very important that you see that we have the image raw and the camera info. That camera info will be used in uh, Arvis for the, um, the camera plugin. So let's have a look. Arvis. Let's start Arvis. And we open the graphical tools. And your local computer would just pop up the Arvis. There we go. Let me put it here. Okay. So let's open a config file that I've saved for this. I mean, I'm not explaining in a lot, a lot of details the simulation just because it, it's not directly related to the question. And we're going to get this one first. So now it's just that I changed the, the names. I was thinking of what, what, what was going on. Yeah, it's just that I changed the names for a next step. So as you can see, we have stereo vision. So what, what these two cameras are seeing. And let me just remove this. Okay. And let me save this. So you can see that it's slightly different just because the right eye will see a slightly different image from the left eye. So it's working. If we move the, um, the box around, yeah, you move it around, for example, there. And it was moved. Yeah, so it works. Yeah, so this is, I think, it's one of the best ways of seeing that your cameras are working because you have published the images, but also you need to publish the TFs because for, um, for using cameras, you need TFs one time or another. So this is a good place to go because you need TFs to publish to see these camera elements. Okay, so um, how do we know that it's working? That the stereo vision is working? Well, I have a um, like a a test here. I'll use this stereo image package. It's very handy because it allows you to basically have two images, stereo images, and generate a point cloud for those stereo images so it's a very good test to know not only that your cameras are working but that they are useful for stereo vision yeah so the only thing that you have to do is i have in the docs here the commands it's basically state the um, the namespace in our case was stereo cross topic list you see that the namespace for for us is stereo and then we have left and right and they have to be called like this otherwise you have to do it uh, you have to rename uh, manually so if we execute this well nothing happens yeah because we now executed the nodes for this and what we are going to do is go to our viz again and this time open this one which is a point cloud and there we have it so what I'm what I'm doing here is getting a point cloud that this um, package is generating and is generating through these two images as you can note there's some strange issue with point clouds in ROS so this is related to the the frame in which which I'm using for the cameras so in this case we would have to change it so that this data would appear exactly as it should but the thing is this 
is a point cloud. This is a three-dimensional image generated through these two stereo cameras that we have here. So through these two stereo cameras, we are getting information in three dimensions of a point cloud of this um, three-dimensional object. So answering the question, this is the way you would I would test so that our to know if my cameras are working, my stereo camera is, is working, and it's useful for generating stereo images. Yeah, and it's useful for generating data. And that's about it. So uh, if you like the video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we publish videos every day, so uh, that's it. Thank you and see you in the next video. Hasta la próxima. Thank you.